Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, let's start our analysis as, as usual with the Euro USD. Um, looking at the Euro USD, my analysis last week was predicting for the Euro USD to actually rise a little bit more up, hitting this previous resistance before it actually start falling more down. However, uh, what happened last week will change now the signal because if we look at the weekly candles on weekly candles we can see that the market has been hitting on this support level right here and right here and right here and here and this support level was very strong for more than three years then we our, when we finally had this bullish breakout candle from the support we can see that the market now bouncing on the very same level of the support and seems to be not able to make a second attempt. Now, why do I say that? Because we have here three price actions indicating a bullish reversal. The first one is this candle. This one, this is my second uh, favorite price action for uh, the reversal. And then all of that has been followed by this doji here. All of that indicating that the market is not able to even make a second attempt of the support level right here. So all in all, I think after seeing this bearish, uh, bullish uh, breakout candle, the market seems to be actually now reversing right on this support level. So those who have uh, opened buy option, or, sorry, buy order for the EURUSD, you can keep your positions because I think now the market is actually flying more up. Now the question is where should I start buying the Euro USD? Well, in my opinion, we have a very strong support level right here. Like that. This is in my opinion a strongest support level. And we can expect for the market after breaking out from this resistance for the candles to go down, retest this previous support uh, and this resistance as well before it can it can actually rising more up. So all in all, EURUSD is actually uh, going more up. Let me just uh, write it for you. Which level you can start buying the EURUSD. We can start buying on the level 1.10061. That will be actually safe level to start buying the EURUSD. We can keep the trade running all the way until it hit at least the top of this resistance level. Let me just be more safe. Yeah, like that. This is more convenient. So we can look for almost 85, 84 pips of profit from the EURUSD. And all in all, I think it is going even higher than that. But we have to give it some more time. Anyway, this is my analysis for the EURUSD. Hopefully, it's going to be accurate. And let's now go to the pound USD. Now, the pound USD, however, is a little bit tricky. It was supposed to be fall down, to fall, to fall, to fall more down, um, based on my analysis. However, what happened here, we can see that the pound USD is actually making a bullish reversal. My prediction was for the Euro, for the pound USD to actually keep its position here as a resistance after having a triple top here. So we had here a bearish breakout candle from the support, and for the market to actually fall down right from this level and to keep falling until all, and all the way until this previous support. Now, what happened here is that the market has made its bullish reversal. Let me go to the 4-hour chart. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is where... Um, let me just uh, see it clear. Yes, this is where I sent my signal, and we can see the reversal happened indeed, and the market kept its position as a resistance. However, it bounced right from the support level. So what should we do now with the pound USD? I want to keep my word that the pound USD is actually falling more down. Why I'm saying that? Because again, on daily candles, we see another two price actions. And actually more than that, we can see many price actions indicating that the market is about to fall down after hitting uh, this uh, resistance level. This is the first one. And this one here. And this one and this all these four candles indicating that the market is seems to be falling more down especially the one closed uh, Friday this is how the market clo uh, closed last Friday and in my opinion uh, seems like the 
pound USD is actually making one la one last attempt on this resistance level before it actually starts falling more down. So we can expect for the pound USD to rise more for about 40 pips. Yeah, almost 41 pips before we can start shorting the pound USD. I really don't think it's going to break out from this resistance level. I don't think it has the strength to break out of it. Let's go to the weekly candles and check what's happening. On weekly candles also we can see that we are right now on a strong resistance level which was also in the past a strong support it was a very strong support in the past that's why I really don't see it breaking out from this level immediately it doesn't have the strength to break out of it so going back to the 4 hour chart we can start shorting sell pound USD on the level 1.29702 and let me just tell you something if you started uh, shorting the pound USD and let's say you can see the trade going against you all right let's assume that the, the trade will go against our direction how can we decide that we have to close it with the loss sadly the the pound USD is giving a lot of pips actually so our loss will be actually a little bit bigger than the usual uh, in my opinion if you see the candles, let me just be more accurate, here, so this is the signal here for the cell, and let's, let me tell you, if you see any candle breaking out from this level of 1.30010 and closed as a breakout candle, you have then to close the trade with the loss, sadly, because there is also the possibility about the breakout candle from this level of the resistance. However, uh, seeing the daily and weekly candles, I really don't see it happening at all. We just have to wait for the right moment to start selling the euro, the, uh, sorry, the pound USD. Because if we see the price action here, uh, sorry, if we saw a breakout candle from this resistance, looking at the left, I don't see any other resistance un uh, until this level right here. If the market is going to break out from this resistance, we have to close the trade immediately uh, because if it does going more up here uh, above this level, it means that the market will continue rising all the way up for almost, if I'm not mistaken, 200 pips, almost 170 pips and almost yeah, 200 pips from the level where I mentioned to start sell. Anyway, uh, that will be followed with the midweek analysis. But so far, we can start uh, selling the pound USD once it's reached this level, uh, 1.29702. Let's now check the AUD USD. Um, if you remember from my last week analysis, I mentioned that the AUD USD has no strength to reverse, uh, sorry, to make uh, any bullish reversal. All the candles indicating weakness in, from the buyers and more. Uh, controlling from the sellers and therefore the market has went down um, I was hoping for a, for a second attempt of the resistance right here however the market just continued to fall more down so now what is the next move what can we expect for, uh, from the AUD USD now in my opinion we can see here that we had right here there is a support level a very strong support level right here we are having here simply a support number one after uh, break, uh, this bullish breakout candle from the previous resistance right here. Maybe you can see it. Here we have a resistance which was also in the past a support. It was also a resistance right here and it was also a support right here. So again, we have here a support number one and I think the market seems to be falling down all the way until it hit the support number two. And remember, we are on the daily candles. Being on the daily candles means we can expect a reversal at this moment, at this uh, level, and for the AUD USD to rise all the way up until it hit this previous uh, resistance exactly right here. No, not here, right here. So we can expect for the AUD USD to fall for almost, sorry, to rise for almost 70 pips. Let me just uh, write the level for you. We can start buying the AUD USD on 0 0.67492. Hopefully, it will be accurate. And by the way, let me just see that on the four hour chart before uh, giving the final thought. Definitely, yes, I agree on it. Uh, this is the level 
where we can start uh, buying the AUD USD we can see the strength of the support level right here and right here as well and seems to be now the good time to start buying the AUD USD even if you buy it right now it might fall only for 10 pips which is which is nothing actually uh, in the sw uh, swing trades so yeah AUD USD is good to buy from this level let's check now the USD CAD so the USD CAD uh, let me go to the daily candles uh, yes uh, the USD CAD uh, I have given the signal if I'm not mistaken for the USD CAD to be start uh, we can start uh, selling it at this resistance level and we can see what happened uh, the market uh, opened trying to break out from this resistance however it made so many attempts it has failed to break out from this resistance now seeing the market closed as on Friday sorry we can see the market closed Friday as a long pin bar that is a very good signal that we can start actually shorting the USD CAD because we can see the market made so many spikes here trying the hardest to break out from this uh, resistance but what happened is very interesting if you notice not a single candle closed above uh, this resistance level all the candles bodies closed right on it all right on this level we can see even here and right here and this one is very interesting it just touched this level before right trying to fall more down then on Friday night the sell, the buyers tried their best to push the market up but however the sellers controlling the market the bears has have won the battle and now we can see the market closed Friday as a pin bar indicating that the market is, uh, sorry, the USD CAD is very good to start selling right now uh, seeing the price action on the daily candles it doesn't really seems it doesn't seem like there is uh, another uh, bullish momentum here or any bullish reversal I think the USD CAD is actually good to start sell right away because what we can expect that we had here a support level and this candle closed below the support level meaning you can expect for the market to rise a little bit more up to hit to, to retest this previous uh, support and then gonna continue falling more down so all in all USD CAD is actually good uh, uh, by the way even this price action here that is really strong signal to start selling so USD CAD is actually good to start sell right away sell now um, because I don't see it uh, rising more up at all it seems to be the moment of uh, the fall for the USD CAD especially seeing this strong resistance uh, in the past and the market seems to be ranging right on this resistance and seeing the price action on daily candles all of that indicating that the market seems to be falling down at this moment so USD CAD is, star uh, is good to start sell right away let's now look at the USD GPY which sadly have not went as I, I thought let's see so USD GPY uh, I thought it will fall down from this uh, resistance and this resistance is going to keep its position but what happened we had here a support level and the market once it reached the support it continued its bullish reversal now what is the next move in my opinion USD GPY is gonna continue rising a little bit more up until it hit this resistance level and I think this is actually a very good signal seems to be like uh, the USD GPY is gonna be really good for, to start selling right on this level I'm just deleting this okay so I think it's almost reached it by the way it's almost there however I'm, I'm personally gonna wait for the pound for, for the USD GPY to reach this resistance level before it actually start falling more down so it can went uh, it can go up like that to hit this resistance and then gonna fall more down so let me just tell you something here if you look at the past we can see that the very same level I marked here was a strong support also in the past and was also very strong as a resistance what we are having here is a resistance number one so we can expect for the market to rise here to resistance number two which has already happened by the way seems to be already happened right here 
and if I want to draw this resistance line in the best right way I'm not looking at the left side by the way I'm just looking at the I'm um, sorry I mean I'm not looking at the right way I'm just looking at the left um, like that exactly like that because we can see the line here is touching the very bottom of this wick here and also the resistance and right here and we can see the market has already touched this resistance level look at that meaning USDGPY is actually good to start shorting immediately as well let me just write it here uh, you can sell right now not Napu now <laughs> all right so if it goes against you it might go for very short uh, t time maybe for 20 pips maximum I don't think higher than that uh, and then it's gonna fall more down and you can exit your trade from the USDGPY at the support level right here let me just make it more safe for you like that so we can earn about if if it's gonna reverse immediately we can earn about 142 pips from the USDGPY however all in all I don't think the USDGPY is breaking out from this resistance and right now it is actually gonna reverse so if you see the candles going little bit against you don't panic because again as I'm saying it cannot exceed this level of the resistance however it will be all followed with the midweek analysis video now let's check the USDCHF USDCHF didn't also went uh, as I thought um, I was hoping for a reversal from this resistance however the market just continued to go more up but again the same signal I want to keep because we can see here that we have a very strong resistance level and the market seems to be reversing right from this resistance however however let me just look at the daily uh, this is daily candle let, let's look at the weekly candles uh, it seems to be you know something yes this is what I want to give about for about the USDCHF because we can see here that we had a, a breakout from this resistance level right here uh, if you remember from my videos I'm always telling you that the strongest resistance level or a support consists of one long wick like this one here so if I want to draw my resistance line it's gonna be like that and what's wh what we are seeing right here is very interesting because we can see um, the market was trying to break out from this resistance level so for so many long times however every time this is happening the market just continue to fall more down so finally we can see there was a bullish breakout candle from this resistance level and the market closed way above this resistance and remember I'm on the daily candles I'm not on the four hour chart this is now the four hour chart we can see that the market has went beyond this resistance it's going way above it and now seems to be actually going more up so in my opinion it's gonna continue rising more up for the UCCHF all the way until it hit this resistance level it can go for yeah for almost 95 pips so however USDC, uh, USDCHF is good to start buying but let me just tell you where we should start which, where we should start buying the USDCHF in my opinion we can start buying the USDCHF uh, just give me one second one second I want to make another thought about this one second all right so after making some uh, few analysis and I kept it for you to see it we can see that we are on the level 61.8 of Fibonacci level and uh, when I'm using the trend lines understanding or the mythology of the, under the trend lines I can say that the USDCHF might actually rise a little bit more up until it hit this previous support right here it's so tiny I don't think you can see it hold on let me just zoom in uh, this one right here because this is the bearish breakout candle from this support level which was also a support here in the past so this is the bearish breakout candle and usually when the market break uh, sorry break out from this level it's gonna retest this, uh, the previous support and then it's gonna fall down so all in all I think the USDCHF 
might actually go a little bit more up hitting this previous support level retesting the level and then it's gonna be good to start shorting and we can keep the position all the way until it hit this previous support right here so let me get rid of uh, of all of that and let's change uh, the signal to be all the way until it hitting yes right here because I can see the strong support level is uh, laying right here so USDCHF should be start to good uh, should be start uh, should be good to start selling right on the level 1.00493 sorry 493 that should be better level to start shorting the USDCHF I don't think it's gonna exceed this level and then we can keep the position all the way until it hit this previous uh, support here and we can expect about 150 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all now let's look at the gold however the gold has made really interesting movement uh, this week because as I mentioned we can start short, uh, buying the gold right from the support level right from this support level however the gold has went little bit against the the direction it went all the way below to this support level to create another attempt so we can fi see finally that we had here a pin bar and indicating of course a bullish reversal the market went up here and now what is the next move well seeing the market went out from this breaking out from this resistance indicating that we can now witness another retest of this breaking out resistance and we can see that we had here a strong support in the past however um just trying to be accurate here right here like that so we can expect for the gold to actually fall a little bit more down for almost 30 pips uh, it's gonna be better idea to start buying the gold buy on the level 1460 however you don't have to rush to buy the gold we have to see the price action if there is a possibility for the gold to actually fall a little bit more down until it hit this previous resist uh, support right here and if you want my opinion if you want to be more safe just wait for you know something I'm going to do it hold on I will change the signal I will make it one four five eight let's be safe I don't want anyone to lose money because of my analysis so that is actually much better uh, level to start buying the gold don't rush to buy it because most likely it's gonna fall down after hitting on this level of the resistance right here and hitting this previous support right here it's it seems to be actually falling a little bit, uh, bit more down and this is the support level right here and I think this support is gonna keep its position as a support and this will be the best level to start buying the gold and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit this resistance level right here so we can expect for the gold you know something okay <laughs> I'm sorry I'm changing my opinion a lot I just want everyone to be safe as much as possible so instead of picking this target let's pick this target here because there is a possibility for the gold if it hit this resistance it might actually start falling more down so we have to be more safe and now I'm on the four hour chart so looking at the four hour chart we can see this resistance here and right here and right here so if the market will reach this resistance it might be a better idea to start sell the gold however until then we can start short uh, sorry buying the gold if it go down here to retest this level and then we can start buying it all the way until it hit this previous resistance once it hit, uh, it hit this resistance if this is gonna happen uh, before Wednesday I will say something about it in the midweek analysis video however uh, that was my analysis for this week I really hope it will be a very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.